What's going on everybody? We have another Stardew Valley guide. The day this is coming out is Christmas Eve, so I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. There will not be a video on Christmas Day. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a holiday break. But in today's video, we are going to be covering the Birdie's Keepsake Quest. If you do not know, Birdie is this old lady that you meet on the west side of Ginger Island. When you first walk up to and talk to her, you will have this little cutscene begin. This little cutscene will just basically introduce you to who Birdie is and her situation. Basically, Birdie is an old lady who shipwrecked onto the island with her husband. Her husband unfortunately passed away, but she would like to have some sort of keepsake, something to hold on to remember him by. As of right now, she's been unfortunately living on this island without any sort of memory of him. In the end, you are going to be doing a fetch quest of sorts to try and find some sort of memento, if you will, of her husband. The first thing that she gives you is an old photograph. That's the only thing that she has. If you see in the bottom left, it is, it is a war memento. Now a war memento, of course, the person to talk to would be Kent, the person who was a former soldier. If you go up and interact with him with the photograph, he will say that he fought in the war together with this person. Now this person is not Birdie's husband, this is just a random photograph that Birdie happened to have that washed up on the shore. Kent is very thankful that you have this photo, he wants to keep it. In exchange, he gives you some gourmet tomato salt. Now gourmet tomato salt, of course, goes to Gus. Gus is the owner of the bar and he would like to trade for the gourmet tomato salt. He says it has a sharp smell, the grilly texture, he really wants it. And in return, he gives you a Stardew Valley Rose. Now, the Stardew Valley Rose is something that reminds you of the valley. Now, if you get stuck on any of these, by the way, if you interact with the wrong person, it'll, the game will tell you that you're interacting with the wrong person. But the Stardew Valley Rose goes to Sandy. Sandy is the only person who doesn't live in Stardew Valley. She lives in the desert, and she gives you an advanced TV remote. Now, the advanced TV remote, of course, goes to everybody's favorite TV watcher in Stardew Valley, George. George... The old man that he is gets initially confused, but he gets excited that he has a new channel. And in response, he decides to give you a magic arctic shard. Now, a magic arctic shard, of course, would go to the wizard. Now, you walk over to the wizard's tower, and the wizard will happily, I guess you can say happily, accept the arctic shard. He doesn't really care too much. He almost doesn't even want to give you anything for it. But he does end up giving you something in return. He gives you a wriggling worm. Now a wriggling worm of course goes to Willy. Willy was going to use this as catfish bait as he talks about here in his dialogue. And Willy finally has the item we are looking for. Willy trades us for the pirate locket. Now that pirate locket is exactly what we wanted. We want to give that to Birdie. You're going to find Birdie right where you found her initially just fishing on the shore here. Interact with the pirate locket and it will start this final cutscene with Birdie where she gets all happy that she has the pirate locket. And all this is for a recipe. The reward for this little fetch quest of sorts is the recipe for fairy dust. I'll show fairy dust in the crafting menu after this cutscene plays, but basically the fairy dust is an item that you can craft with a fairy rose and a diamond, and you can use it on any sort of machine, whether that be a furnace, a keg, any sort of refining machine and it will instantly give you what it was cooking on the inside so you just equip it in your hands and you just use it on the item and it will instantly pop it out right there you can see i just got the fairy dust recipe and she also gives five golden walnuts so if you're looking for golden walnuts this is a perfect way to get them after this quest birdie will just kind of sit here you can you can talk to her and she'll have a little bit of dialogue but the fairy dust crafting recipe is now owned by you. And honestly, I think that the fairy dust recipe is going to be pretty useful. It is pretty cheap to make. You just need some fairy roses and diamonds. And if you're at this point in the game, you have a ton of diamonds. Right there, you can see I have well over 100 diamonds. Diamonds are not really something that's rare anymore at this point in the game. So the fairy dust is relatively easy to craft. So if you just want to speed up any process, the fairy dust is going to be great. Whether you have a bunch of wine that's making, whether you're mass smelting iridium ore, it'll be extremely useful for you. 
If you guys like this guy, let me know in the comments down below. We're going to be getting back on the Stardew Valley grind after the holidays. So if there's anything specific you guys want to see, let me know down below. I know there's a couple things such as the frog cave, the rare birds, the golden walnut door, so many other things that we could cover, even new crops, new items, if you guys want to see that kind of stuff too. I will gladly cover it in a video. Just let me know if you guys want to see that content in those videos. Go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.